Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. And in this session, I'm going to use ChatGPT again. In my previous video, I have showed how to use ChatGPT for R purpose. Okay. Now in this session, I will show where that ChatGPT does uh, good work and where we require to add something to that. Now the question which I asked was, plot bar plots with error bars to compare means of iris spaces, floral parts, length using R programming. Many spelling mistakes are there and it has corrected those mistakes. I asked it to plot a bar plot with error bars to compare means of iris spaces floral part lengths. Okay. I expected it to provide me bar plot with all the floral parts of iris uh, that is uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width together in one plot. But it gave me code, this code. Okay. And with explanation, it provides explanation also. You need to install and load ggplot to and deployer package. Okay, it loaded the packages, called the libraries. In the second step, it uh, created a pipeline to uh, get summarized data. But here, uh, it didn't calculate standard deviation. It calculated mean of sepal length only, not all four plur plural parts. It has calculated for sepal length only using group by and summarize function of uh, deployer package. Okay. When it got that, it plotted the ggplot. Okay. And here x axis of species, y axis of mean of sepal length. Then geom call position, it did correct. It used position dodge, geom error bar, it worked well. Okay. When I copied that code in R and run that code, I had to uh, comment this out just because I have installed ggplot and uh, deployer. If you are not installed, then you can uh, remove that comment, remove that hash. I will run these lines and we'll see the results. And this is fairly good. We can customize this plot as per our requirement if we know ggplot. Okay, that's required thing. Then uh, I didn't got for all floral parts. I got for sepal length only. And error bars and all this is correct. Width is also properly managed. Just little customization is required that we can do later. Now, I asked it, I refined my question and that question was gather numeric columns of iris and plot bar plots with error bars to compare means of iris spaces floral parts length using R programming. I explicitly asked it to gather those numeric columns which has uh, lengths of uh, sepals, uh, width of sepal, length of petal and width of petal recorded there. Okay. Those four, four columns I asked it to gather and give me a uh, ba grouped bar plot for uh, each species for uh, floral part lengths. Okay. I expected that. And here it gave me the code and again it asked me to install those required packages. Okay, deployer and all those. Uh, ggplot2, again library deployer and uh, here it worked that. But it didn't ask me to install tidier and load tidier because for this function iris long to work that gather to work gather function to work tidier is required and tidier is not given here therefore if a novice uh, programmer is there our user is there then he will uh, get a uh, good headache because of this then it uh, summarized that again in summary it didn't calculate standard deviation of these values gathered values. I will show you what happened because of that. Okay, it plotted the ggplot2 uh, bar plot using ggplot2 and here it used the SD standard deviation of entire value not for each category combination species and part length combination. It didn't use that. It used for the entire value column standard deviation and that standard deviation is very big standard deviation and the error bars look uh, a little bad. Okay. I will just copy this code because I modified this code while testing it. I'll copy this and run that, uh, put that here. Okay. And this also I will remove for a while. And I have actually called for tidier to get the gather function working. Otherwise, gather function will not work. Okay. When I run this data iris, that uh, 
gather key to gather that iris long this is iris long all gather uh, is there then again we'll go back run the summary one again summary for mean only mean of that value column is calculated in summary and group by using and spaces part this is till this it is correct i will run this and i will run the ggplot and we can see what happened okay now i will do a little change here in the code to go for the position this error bars are at the center of this group i will remove those uh, i will uh, adjust those to their respective bars position underscore d o d g e this option argument is required and here i will call for width is equal to 0.9 9 and run that okay it is saying that this comma is required but where unexpected comma somewhere again i will run that somewhere position dodge yeah here that uh, bracket was missing a new bracket need to be added for that position dodge one and spelling also is wrong here in my case I'll run that again. I will run that, and now bars. But this SD is an issue. A good bar plot this is, but SD is for entire value. This standard deviation is for all these values together. Therefore, it's equal everywhere. Now here I will do the change. SD value I will calculate in summary. SD of value will run that okay. and here i will just substitute this using sd underscore value and here also i will do the same thing sd underscore value and will run that now this plot is proper plot correct plot which we can customize further for our purpose okay. that's how uh, this uh, chat gpt has to be supported with your own intuition and if you know the code then you can use chat gpt to uh, increase sp uh, speed of your coding and to increase your throughput thanks for watching this video if you are like this video please hit like button subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet share this video with your friends and uh, press bell icon to get notifications of my new videos thank you thank you again